you guys have watched uh, my webinars before, you know that, that we have to kind of get the legal disclaimer out of the way, so let's uh, get that done. This demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock and accompanying software plugins and is not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather gu guidelines to interpreting and using the specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Metastock shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of their software, any trading strategies, or information provided in connection with the company. Now we got the legal stuff uh, uh, out of the way. Uh, like I said, this is actually the second webinar in a uh, three-part series. The first part is available on our YouTube channel, uh, which I'd be happy to email out to, to everyone. But if you go to metastock.com, or rather, sorry, youtube.com forward slash metastock, um, first one will be on there, but I'll go ahead and send out a link to the, the first webinar as well. But today we uh, do have the second part of this series, which we're going to get a uh, uh, cigar is going to get a lot more uh, in depth into actual trading strategies using specific uh, trading examples and, and uh, kind of showing us a little bit more of, of his methodology. For those of you who didn't see the first one, uh, cigar has a uh, engineering graduate degree in telecommunications. He has a master's degree in computer science and an executive MBA degree. Uh, he's actually been a uh, trader for quite some time now. We've had the pleasure here uh, uh, of working with Cigar and his system for quite a while. And um, Cigar actually has traveled the world, does a lot of business uh, all over and, and uh, in his path to becoming a professional trader has done everything from studying the numbers to the, the psychology of trading. And once all that came together, he found a system that really works for him and, and started teaching that system to smaller groups of, of uh, individuals. And actually, the, the system was not available to the public until we were able to uh, get our hands on it. And, and uh, we, we really loved it, so we wanted to make it as an add-on and make it available for all of our clients. So. Uh, Mr. Nandi is going to go ahead and, and uh, uh, get started here. We'll do some, some questions afterwards. Uh, Sagar, are you there? Yes, hi. Can you hear me? I, I can. Yeah, I can, I can hear you wonderfully. Thank you. Let me change the screen over to you. Okay, I'm sharing my screen now. Can you all see my screen, which should be the Superior Profit homepage? Looks wonderful. Okay, lovely. Let's start. We have a lot, lot of wonderful insight on swing trading profitably to be shared today. This is, uh, as Hunter said, webinar two in a three webinar series and we will be going into more detail today in today's webinar and subsequent webinars. I am Sagan Nandi, the Chief Analyst and Trader of Superior Profit. It is customary probably for the presenter to go through more detail of his trading, but I will not do that to save time. I will point you to the Superior Profit homepage about menu you will get to know about the company myself and more importantly about some aspects of superior profit way of investing profitably. Before I begin, let me go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This is not a recommendation for buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. Now in the last webinar, 
we went through the trading resources where we described what is superior profit way at the center of it is of course the Q trading system and we need to learn how to use the system so we shared all the information that is available in the learning center video book blog and the traders community where trade ideas are shared regularly by superior profit traders as well as by our traders superior profit traders from different countries in the world in trade quiz the trade the graduates club trade quiz etc and we have weekly live classes there was also some homework mentioned in the last webinar i hope you have done that little bit of study which was basically to go through the material in the education center in the order that is suggested here to watch the video then book then read some blogs if you have not done that i suggest you can do that after this webinar and before the next webinar begins now in a, a few weeks ago i was sharing with our traders a comparison of some of the best known trading systems in the market with Q system using the trade ideas generated by those respective systems and comparing Q charts side by side in all the cases Q charts either matched or did better than those systems I will not do that today however it is tempting to share some information that I received recently from Thomson Writers. There was a presentation made by Thomson Reuters recently focusing on North America Q4 earnings surprise. It was presented by very respected people Tim Goma, David Aurelio from Thomson Reuters Financial and Risk Department. It was done on 18th January and they have access to a lot of information Thomson Reuters being one of the leading providers of financial data in the whole world this is the PDF that was shared in the class one thing that caught my eye is a list of stocks they suggested to have bullish and bearish inclination based on there you can see a lot of analysis they have done I will just scroll down and one stock that caught my eye is GOGL. It's probably not so well known, not part of S&P 500 or anything like that. But it's a company which is in the deep sea freight sector. And based on a lot of detailed analysis, Thomson Reuters experts suggested that Google, the company is actually not, not the IT Google company, it is GOGL Google, Golden Ocean Group Limited have a smart estimate prediction surprise of 26 percent which is a very large surprise percent so in a way they were suggesting to look for a potential long opportunity in the stock now of course the insight that is available from Thomson Reuters analysts is valuable but why this particular stock caught my eye is because by the time Thomson Reuters analysts were proposing this to be a long buy, our traders using Q charts on Metastock Meta and the power of Metastock Zenith were already holding the stock with 40% profit. Now this trade was shared like many other trades in our community. So let me just go to the community search on the company Google and it was posted in September 21 last year whereas Thomson Reuters identified it using their own mechanism sometime in December we came across this stock sometime in September 6 September to be specific and that is how the Q charts looked like at that time 
on the left hand side is the weekly chart you can see that the stock had fallen stabilized on the weekly chart and in the daily chart we saw it is starting to go up it was identified as a potential long opportunity on this day and soon after that it went up at the right edge of this chart when it was posted it had about 4% profit and if we look at same GOGL through our Q charts today it is now closing today it closed at 5.89 our entry day was 6 September so it will be actually one of these days I think on this day, 2nd September there was a number of non-market days between 2nd and 6th September so 2nd September it had closed at 3.87 and by today the position already has more than 50% profit being swing trader is however different from being long-term investor you can see that during this period Google had gone up, come down, gone up, made a false upside breakout, came down, made a bearish release, came down again, gave a bullish headwind signal, went up. And then finally, it has reached more than 50% profit as of today. Now, if we look at the post, it was actually suggested as a long-term buy at pendulum low. Pendulum law calculates whether the stock has dropped enough to try to make it a long-term investment. So going by that long-term investment strategy, we would have bought the stock around this level and hold it for the long run and probably book some profit by now and leave the rest to let profit run. So this was an example of long-term investment using Q charts. But today's topic is not long-term investment, neither is it day trading. We will probably cover that in a later webinar and we regularly touch upon this in our weekly class. But today's class we will focus on swing trading. And be it long-term investment, swing trading or day trading, just like in this particular case, GOGL stock, we could do better than other analysts oftentimes superior profit traders can do that for swing trading as well how we could do that is of course largely because of the power of metastock award-winning charting platform on which we have developed the q global add-on and also because of the power of metastock zenith in superior profit we are able to combine the Q technical analysis with market analysis sector industry as well as fundamental analysis everything in a visual manner easy to understand manner that can be used by a high school student as well as by a septuagenarian experienced investor we will have a look at many of such trades taken using Q trading system. All the trades will be picked up from our traders community. Today we will be going through swing trading profitably, superior profit way. We will briefly define what we mean by swing trading. What characteristics of traders mindset we see in successful swing traders Q system and its indicators that are available for swing trading allows us to trade in different market conditions we look at the specific market conditions for that we have defined in superior profit and then drill down into the four distinct chart setups that we have identified one for each of those market conditions and at the end, we will have a brief look on how we combine technical analysis with market sector industry as well as fundamental analysis. 
So let's start with what we mean by swing trading. Swing trading means catching the swings in a stock move, thereby profiting from both up and down market by taking long while the stock is going up and taking short while the stock is going down. This can be used on any market or instrument. The optimal instruments are those displaying clearly recognizable swings like we see in liquid stocks, futures, forex, etc. And options on these underlying instruments can also be used. Typical holding period is between few days to few weeks. And swing trade opportunities can be easily found using QSonar program. QSonar is a series of explorers in Metastock. And I will keep switching between the presentation our website community and the Metastock platform itself as well as Zenith to illustrate all the aspects of swing trading using superior profit. So now we are at Metastock Power Console. If we go to Explorer, we'll see a series of Q Explorers. We have four Explorers meant for swing trading and for each of them, we have a pair finding long opportunity or short opportunity. So let me highlight the long ones. If I'm looking for a long opportunity, typically I highlight bounce long, box long, go with flow long, and headwind long. And run it on my instrument of choice. I could use my local data list that is downloaded in my computer. In that way, I don't need internet connection. However, most of the time, I have internet connection available and I just run it on the online data list. So I could run it right now, all these four explorers on the Singapore STI index constituents, run it on daily interval, and use the selected instruments for all explorations. It is now going into the Thomson Reuters database, extracting the data for all these stocks, bringing it to the Metastock charting platform, and running all these four explorers, what we call sonar in superior profit, one by one. So it will take a few minutes, and by the time I could finish my sentence, the report is already ready. We can look at the outcome. There is no headwind long trade identified today. We could go and try to look for box long. It didn't find any. We could look for bounce long. It has found few. And I think I forgot to run go with flow long. It might have find, found several stocks in that explorer also. So this is a very simple and easy way to save time and instead of going to 30 or 100 or 500 stocks or charts manually one by one, let Q explorers do the hard work and give us a much shorter list of candidate stocks which we can further analyze using Q charts and make a trading decision. We will look at many such trading decisions that were made by superior profit traders through the trades that they shared in superior profit traders community. Now Q traders who trade swing trades successfully tend to have some common characteristics. And it is required for all of our swing traders to have alignment with the mechanics of swing trading. So let me go through these important mindsets. Their temperament is aligned with swing trading. They are not attempting to hold for long term and they are not 
turning it into day trading either. Swing trades tend to have a welcome period, typically few days, sometimes few weeks, but mostly it is in terms of few days and it does not help to overstay that welcome period. It is required to book profit at predefined target and move on to next trade. Swing traders also need to trade without any preset bias on a stock's direction. Without having bias means that the trader can benefit both from long trade or from short trade in a stock's swings. They will not be rigid in their mind to take only long trade or only short trade thinking that the stock or the market is bullish or bearish respectively. So it is important to have that flexibility in a swing trader's mind. By focusing on the swings, they tend to take moderate profit. They are not looking for large profit from each trade. However, as we do in superior profit, we tend to book half profit or maybe three quarter profit at predefined target and use trailing stock using Q protection signal to let profit run on the remaining position. So sometimes Q traders can eat the cake and have it too by booking some profit, take some money off the table and let profit run on the remaining position. However, it is always required for a swing trader to book some profit, at least half in our view, at predefined initial profit target. They are also willing to take small loss at pre-planned price level in case the trade moves against them. They will not hold it thinking that in the long run the stock will move back in their direction. Instead, they will free up their capital, look for the next trading opportunity and invest the capital in the next trade. They adhere to position sizing appropriate to one's account size and risk tolerance. Many of our traders tend to risk only a small part of their entire capital in each trade and whether all the signals are aligned or not, maybe the fundamental, the broad market, sector, industry, Q charts, everything is telling a stock is likely to go up, still they will stick to their position sizing and thereby manage their risk in each trade. The last important point for successful swing traders is that they tend to follow a set of stocks versus following every stock in their market or exchange. By doing that, they tend to have a pulse on their stocks and can actually anticipate sometimes a move and using Q fine-tune real-time chart can enter the trade well ahead of others. You can find examples of such trades also from superior profit traders community. If you look at that picture here, there is another point that is illustrated through this picture is that superior profit swing traders or superior profit even long-term investors or day traders are more visual than number crunchers in practice. They like to look at what is going on through colored charts and we have a way where we have even visualized, made a way to visualize the market move, sector, industry move and even fundamental data and just trade looking at what we see and trusting our own eyes. As we go along, these points will be clearer during this webinar. Now to trade successfully, a swing trader needs a series of indicators. In Q trading system, we have designed specific indicators for swing trading and separate few indicators for long-term investing and for day trading. 
long term investing sometimes needs to have a longer view and a slower indicator may also serve the purpose whereas for day trading we need extremely fast indicators with zero or almost zero lag we will not be going through those fast indicators that superior profit traders use for day trading in this webinar instead we will be focusing on the key indicators specific to swing trading. These indicators can be either line or non-line indicators. If an indicator is drawn as a line, all that we need to do is to decide whether the line is going up or down to assess whether the market is strong or weak. And if it is a non-line indicator, meaning it is a dot or a diamond or a bar, we need to identify whether it is colored as red or green or yellow. Let us go to Metastock and clarify this point further. We will be looking at SPY, the S&P 500 ETF through our default template. And you can see there are several lines drawn on the chart. This is a particular indicator and there are several lines on the chart to decide whether this particular indicator which if we hover the mouse on the indicator it shows Q very slow direction line whether it is bullish or not is decided by whether the line is going up or not. That's all we need to look at. Whereas for non-line indicators like in the middle band here which is a movement indicator as can be seen from the help over, when I hover the cursor over it, Q movement consisting of three dots. The top one is acceleration, middle one is speed and the bottom one is momentum. Whether or not it is bullish, we just need to look at the color. So green throughout superior profit system, green or cyan means bullish, red or magenta means bearish. The same is true for activity or volume at the end, at the lower panel. All we need to see is the color of the indicator. There is no parameter to be set, there is no threshold to be set, there is no convergence, divergence to be assessed. Yet, we have all the necessary and only the necessary indicators that are required for swing trading. These indicators are of different types. There are different indicators for finding trend or momentum, separate indicators for identifying reversal, some indicators for support resistance and few on volatility. We will not go into the volatility indicators much today, but let me take a moment to show the hop off template that we use to exit a trade with a stop in case the trade goes against us. Let me take IBM as an example and this time instead of using the default template let me use the Q hop off template that is used to hop off a trade. By this time you have realized that for every logical trading activity be it for identifying a trade using Explorer or Sonar or deciding on a trading activity like hopping onto a trade or hopping off a trade, we have ready-made components in Q trading system. So if we have an entry position in IBM and we need to decide as an exit position, we could open it with hop-off template. But instead of using IBM, let me take an example of a trade idea that was shared in traders community recently.
that trade idea was on a stock in Singapore market. It was SBS Transit. It's a bus transportation company in Singapore. When the trade was shared, and let me check the date, it was shared recently, 23rd Jan, just a few days ago. On the left hand side in the weekly chart, the candle color is cyan. As I mentioned in Q charts, cyan or green means bullish. So it was bullish in weekly and on the daily chart, it came down, started to go up, came little bit down and went back up again. At the right edge of the daily chart, we can see the candle color is cyan and the movement is green. That is the point we decided to enter the trade as a swing trade and our initial profit target will be at this pair of lines called boundary line. But I came here to explain where will be the stop loss. That is decided from the hop off template. So let me look at the hop off template of SBS transit as of today. This is how SBS Transit looks today. Our entry was on 23rd January. Our target was upper boundary, which it has surpassed already. And as disciplined swing trader, our traders have already booked profit, at least partial profit. Now, where is the stop loss point? The initial stop loss point would be at the protection level, which is the magenta dots for long trade as of the entry day. So if I draw a line on the entry day, our stop loss will be around this level. Now, if you see on the right hand side, as the stock moved up, the stop loss level has moved up also. So what we have done, we have booked half profit maybe three quarter profit and then moved our stop up to the magenta dot as of close of the day. And if you now look at this price level that is 2.14 is actually higher than our entry price which was the close of 23rd January. Therefore we have booked partial profit, we have moved stop beyond our entry price and thereby made it an almost guaranteed risk free trade from now on. So this is again an example where we have eaten the cake, booked some profit, took some money out of the table and can have it too by letting profit run as it hopefully continues to go up. Now these protection signals calculate at what distance the stop will be for a long entry using the magenta set of dots for long trade and the cyan set of dots for a short trade. And this is calculated based on volatility of the stop. We have another template that is useful for option traders where a different kind of volatility is calculated and plotted on the chart. Again, cyan here means volatility is high and the red or magenta again means volatility is low. So we use volatility in different ways, but today I will not go into the detail. You can find more detail into our from our education center books And we also continue to cover those ideas into our regular weekly life class. So if we go to book, you can download the full set of books if you haven't done it and go through the detail of option trading template as well as the hop of template among others. So today let's look at the support and resistance indicators first.
there are different kinds of support and resistance lines. Memory line is one of them. Memory lines are automatically drawn smart train lines that provide exceptional support and resistance. They may be drawn using anchor points that come from few days back to as long as few years back. And all we have to do is just open the queue template or the queue charts and these smart train lines, memory lines will come to help in our trading decision. Just as memory can provide support and resistance, breaking of a memory is also a significant event and may indicate that the stock will move in the breakout direction. How does memory look like? Let's look at a stock, let's say CMDG. It's another transportation company based in Singapore. I would like to look at it now through the hop on template, which is our default template as well. And when I open the chart, I can see that there are only red memory train lines. So it tells me immediately that the stock is still not in clear uptrend. If it is in uptrend, then we will be seeing ascending memory trend line at the bottom. So if somebody is looking for a trade entry for long term into this transportation company, it's a taxi operator in Singapore, probably they will wait for breaking out of these memory lines around 2.5, 2.55, let price come back down and then go up again. So there will not be any long term entry position here, there could be other shorter term trades. Now this memory line has been used in many many trades in superior profit traders community and I told that I will switch back and forth between the presentation Metastock and the trades that were posted in the community. So let me do that. I did some homework also for this class and searched some example of trades that were posted in the community. And this was a potential bounce shot in a company in US market, Darling, it's a nice name. The symbol is DAR. It was shared in the community by a trader from Singapore on 29th, 29th November last year. And we tend to encourage our traders to paste the chart, the Q chart as it looked when they thought of the trade. On the left hand side is again the weekly chart. We can see as of that day, it was bouncing down from a resistance memory in the weekly chart and the same pattern was playing out in the daily chart. So in this case, the memory was providing resistance. Price tried to go up above, but then failed and came down with extreme high activity. Whether it is extreme high or not, we can just decide by looking at the dot and the color of it. If it is green color dot, then the activity is high. If it is cyan, it is extreme high. And on this particular bar, extreme high level was achieved at this point and volume was much more than that. So it was really extreme activity on this long bullish candle. People may be tending to go long on this long bullish shepherd candle, a hollow candle is bullish. However, superior profit traders have the benefit of using the memory lines. They saw that a memory resistance was right ahead. So instead of taking a long position, in spite of this very strong breakout of watermark level with high activity, they waited and they saw price reverting back inside the memory. And this is what is termed as a bounce setup. So Edson had shared this trade looking at this chart 
as of 29th November he didn't follow up so let's look darling up how it moved from 29th November in next few days I think the symbol is darling but if we don't know or not sure we can always go to instrument search we can either search by name or symbol so if we type dar yes darling is certainly the name of the company and I would like to use it now hop on template which is also a default template so we need to see how it moved since November 29 This was November 29 when Edson noticed that price tried to go up, hit the memory resistance, came down with actually a bearish release signal and he entered a short position. It was a swing trade so the stop will be just above the recent high using the hop off template I explained earlier and profit target could be say about the same distance as the risk distance. And as price came down to 1st December, the profit target had been reached. So at least partial, say half profit could be booked. And if somebody was holding on to the trade for longer term, it would have fallen more and given bigger profit. Now is that how every trader will trade it? No, some trader will book full profit when the initial target is reached. So Edson's entry price will be around this horizontal level. Stop loss will be just above the recent high. And when the price came down, Edson might have booked partial profit. And then by looking at the magenta color candles, which indicate the potential short opportunities, and now it is a trend following opportunity instead of a bounce opportunity from memory. Further short trades could be taken from the magenta candles. And all of them will be exited as the lower boundary is hit. Or if the risk distance is covered in the downward direction. So some traders could exit partial book partial profit and let profit run as it went down and some traders might close full profit here and re-enter the short multiple times. As I mentioned earlier in the mindset that is common to successful swing traders they tend to take small small profit in each trade. They are happy with that and let their money work harder by entering trades many times in a year. A typical swing trade for superior profit traders tend to average if you say it, it is held for about five days. And what is the typical profit that a superior profit swing trader targets? Let me clear the chart and explain that. We can see that when the stock is moving, it tends to move in the middle of these two boundary lines, upper boundary and lower boundary. So our swing traders tend to target for profit, which is half the distance between the boundary lines. So if he is going short at this magenta line, he is targeting to cover this much profit. In our experience for liquid stocks it tends to be between 2 to 4 percent for each trade and if you add those up over a year swing traders can profit significantly over a period of time by reutilizing their capital over and over again in many trades during the course of the year. 
Now we came here to illustrate a successful short trade taken at the resistance memory line that was posted by one of our traders. That is how memory lines act as resistance. Now recently I also shared a trade idea on a stock with the ticker CX. And in this case, when the trade was shared January 12th, very recently, on the weekly chart on the left hand side, we can see that the stock has started to go up, moved sideways a while, and at the right edge, it is resting right on top of multiple memory support lines in the weekly chart with a candle with a lower tail. A candle with lower tail is bullish as seen from the shape. Now in the daily chart, we see that it is also resting on a memory support and at the right edge, the candle color in daily chart, it is colored by flow, which is often used in go with flow trade setup has turned cyan which is a bullish color and movement has turned green. So I shared it as a potential long opportunity with very narrow stop right below the recent low and target somewhere around the upper boundary line, which gives us very respectable reward risk ratio. It was shared on January 12th and let's look at the stock today. It is CX. We'll use the default template, which is the hop on template. Okay, so this was 12th January when the cyan color and the support of the memory told us to go long with very low risk and potential profit target at the upper boundary. So in one, two, three, four, five days, it hit the upper boundary level as of the entry day upper boundary was at this price 0 point something some price 8.56 actually I can read it from here so when price target is hit our traders with discipline always book partial profit at least half maybe three four and then let profit run as I mentioned using Q protection as a trailing stop loss so this again is an example of a long trade now instead of the darling example which was a short trade. It's a long trade example where memory was used as support. Now breaking of memory can also give us a trading signal. While financials were going up for a while, one of our traders who studied in Australia and right now is in Indonesia shared this trade, Nigel shared this trade in Graduates Club. This is Citibank and let me check the date. It was shared also recently, January 11th this year. And as, as a shared his chart, Q chart, we see that in the weekly chart, the color of the candle is magenta, which is bearish. And in the daily chart, after going sideways for a while, Citibank came down, it did display a series of bear release, came down, tried to go up at the watermark level, came down again. At the right edge of the chart, Nigel observed that it has broken the memory line at close. So he proposed it as a potential short trade. And I think he followed up with the result. After a few days, it hit the lower boundary 
and he booked his profit on the trade. Citibank is a very liquid stock as well as a stock that has liquid options on it. So the trade could be taken as short stock position or a simple put option. I think Nigel tends to trade with options more so he might have traded it with put option. While a swing stock trade tends to give us 2 to 4 percent profit, a swing trade taking, taken using simple put will give us about 30 percent or more if it moves from middle of the boundary lines to the lower boundary line in this case for a short trade. So it is up to the trader which instrument they like to use whether it is stock or options. The analysis can be done in the same way using Q charts. So this was an example where breaking of memory was used to signal the beginning of a short trade. We can look at Citibank chart as of today. from January 11th. So on January 11th, Nigel had shared the trade. He booked partial profit along the way at lower boundary and then stock had gone down further, tried to go up, hit the cyan direction line and now looks like it is starting to or trying to go down again. So again, depending on the style of the trader, one might have booked entire profit or somebody might have booked partial profit and let profit run with a stop making sure that as a whole the trade is not going to be loss making anymore. That is dependent on the trading style. So we looked at three different examples of using memory lines, this smart automatically drawn trend lines which can come from far behind as you can see for this line. It is actually coming from far back but we don't have to go and try to draw these lines, extremely smart lines, they are drawn automatically and tell us where the support could be if Citibank falls. So we saw example of short trade using resistance memory darling, example of long trade using support memory for a Singapore stock and Citibank again where breaking of memory was used, breaking of support memory specifically was used to initiate a short trade. Memory lines are not the only support and resistance levels that are available in Q charts. Watermarks also specifies important swing peaks and traps. They don't plot for all the swing peaks and traps but the only important ones are selected by the Q system and they can be used to trade very effectively in sideways market. Let us take an example again from community. This was a trade I shared on a company called 8 the ticker is EGHT. As of the day I shared the trade on the left hand side in the weekly chart, stock was going up then fell down, a watermark level was created, high watermark. Price went there and at the right edge we have a bearish shape candle. And on the right hand in the daily chart, 
we can see that price tried to go above the high watermark level and then came right back in along with a signal that is the headwind reversal signal. So based on this, I thought of taking a short trade on 8. And in a few days, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 days, it came down giving us a profit which is much more than the risk taken. The risk stop loss would be just above the recent high. It didn't go up, never tried to violate our stop, instead it came right down. And at the right edge, I noticed that there was a memory support line. So instead of being greedy, I booked an entire profit at this level. However, one could also book partial profit and use QQ protection as a trailing stop, making sure that as a whole the trade is risk free from this point onward. So this trade is an example which used the false breakout above the watermark level and price coming back right inside it along with a bearish headwind signal. We will go through that signal later as an entry point and booking profit at memory support. Let me take another example. This was a trade shared on the Indian index Nifty on 24th November last year. In the daily chart shown here we can see that there was a watermark level on the left hand side several months ago that is coming from around middle end of June 2016 and then at the right edge of the chart middle of November we saw that price hit near the watermark low level. This green color line was drawn manually by me but we could see that price was coming near the watermark low level while the bear release sorry bull release upward arrow is bull release signal was coming up. So I thought it could give a very low risk stop being just at below this recent low and profit may be somewhere around 8300-8200 level it would give us a very good reward risk ratio long trade opportunity. So this was Nifty as shared on November 24th. Let's look at Nifty as of today, how it played out since the trade was shared. November 24 is around this time. So for a swing trader, a profit target will be a distance. About this distance is fine because it covers more than the risk distance and the profit target will be trying to cover halfway between the two boundary lines. So a swing trader will book profit here. This is again going back to the important characteristics of swing traders they tend to book profit, small small profit in each trade and looking at the wide direction line which could act as a resistance, our traders will surely book profit at this level, at least partial profit, making sure as a whole the trade is risk free from that time onward. This was the trade that was shared in the community by me but this was clearly not the only trade that could be taken at watermark level. We can see after a few days on 27th December price again came to the same watermark low level, tried to go down but closed up with a bullish release signal while activity was very high. That would give us another 
long entry opportunity and it was not only supported by watermark we can see that it was also being supported by the memory trend lines so that would again be another very low risk long entry opportunity in this case using the watermark support level memory trend line support level the bull release signal and the fact that price reversed upward with very high activity and as we can see it would have also been a very profitable trade now i want to emphasize that our traders wouldn't swing traders wouldn't hold on to that whole position till the end of the last candle they would surely book at least half profit at the white yellow line as price came there and make sure that the entire trade is risk free from that time onward. Sometimes we also look at longer term support resistance levels which are drawn as quarterly and yearly pivot levels. To show a stock's move in relation to its longer term ranges. This concept was used to catch the very bottom of gold in the recent gold move. And this trade was also shared in the community. Let me have a look at that. On December 28th, I posted the gold chart using the yearly and quarterly pivot lines. And I noted that price tried to go below the yearly pivot and at the right edge of the chart, a daily chart, now using the decision template, it came back up to the pivot thereby giving us a low risk entry stop being right below the recent low which are supported by series of bull release signals and profit target could be at 115 and further profit could be taken at the declining memory resistance lines around 120 which was also the level of yearly pivot line so this thick line is the pivot line for yearly range and then on the top there are three lines resistance one two three at the bottom there are three support lines s1 s2 s3 so we will like to book some profit probably around one hour one five and then remaining profit at the r1 resistance one level which would also be the declining memory resistance level this was shared again on GLD, the gold ETF, on December 28th, without knowing how gold will turn out, obviously. So let's look at gold today. This is December 28 around this time around this day this 28th December price had come back to the yearly pivot level which we can see just by clicking the appropriate template from the menu bar it was one of these days when this is I think 28th December when price came back to the yearly pivot level and going back to hop on template it has gone straight up as a swing trader we will like to book partial profit probably around this level which is the middle of the two boundary lines and some more profit at 115 
Now, as we saw, we had decided on 115 level beforehand, looking at the declining memory resistance and also the R1 line, the yearly pivot R1 line. So we will be booking more profit at those levels. And indeed, gold actually fell down with two gap down days successively after displaying a bear release signal on 24 Jan and even before that displaying a bearish headwind on 18 Jan. So it shows that how Q signals could help us catch the bottom of gold. Not only that, book partial profit along the way in between the two boundary lines and book further profit at pre-planned level which was around 115. If now gold goes back up with a cyan color candle, then it may give us a go with flow long opportunity. However, that may or may not happen. In between, our traders have already caught the bottom of gold and came out of it with good profit and already in a risk-free trade. We have already described boundary lines several times in the course of the last few examples. The lines which tend to be our profit target, the upper boundary for long trades, swing trades and lower boundary for short swing trades. So I will not go into that anymore. We also saw in these examples that how multiple cute signals, each of them entirely distinct from each other, be it bull release signal, bear release signal shown by down arrow, up arrow. This down arrow or up arrow, be it the headwind signals boundary line, memory line, all of them look different. All of them are based on different calculation, but they come together to tell us when to enter the trade and when to exit the trade. And we also saw that there are several times where we can catch the bottom using support resistance lines, but as well as using these reversal signals as up arrows in this case. Those are the reversal indicators that are available in the queue system. One of them is the headwind signal which shows potential trend reversal at the top or bottom of a trend move. Let me again look at a trade that was shared in the community. And I will take the same example. One minute. that I took last time, that is on 8. It was a case where we used the fake upside breakout at watermark level, but we also used breaking of the memory line and now we can see the bearish headwind signal. This signal could catch again the start of the down move at the top in this case. And if we look back when the bullish headwind signal came at this point it did catch the very bottom of the recent down move. Now headwind signal doesn't always guarantee that it will change trend like it happened in this case. So our guideline is to book profit at least partial profit halfway between the two boundary lines. So entering long at this point 
will lead us to book profit at least partial profit in the middle of the two lines and somebody could exit full position somebody could hold it with appropriate trailing stop to try to ride the entire up move similarly when this signal came we will be going short subject to a very unambiguous checklist that I will cover today I may not have time to go into very detail of the checklist but I will make them available to you and you can go back to these trades and compare with them the checklist that how it followed very unambiguous easy to use checklist to enter the trade so this was a headwind example that was used to enter a bearish trade and as we saw it indeed came down so the bearish headwind signal worked very well and it was very easy to identify the trade we didn't have to set threshold we didn't have to set parameters but look at the color coded diamond signal and based on a checklist that I will share later not just based on the dialogue at the diamond but based on a checklist the trade was entered easily you may remember that we can also use explorer to find the potential headwind signals so let me go through them once more when we looked at trades that were bouncing down from or up from memory lines those are identified using the bounce long or short explorers that is using memory line if it is using stretch release bear release up arrows then we use the box long and box short for sideways market for trend following we use go with flow long and short and headwind for trend reversing trade like 8 I shared just now now if we just take a random stock let's say Apple a very heavily traded stock and see how headwind signal had performed we can see that at this point headwind signal when it came stock didn't go down much after that how it is to be used if somebody already had a short position by looking at the bullish headwind which is always green is bullish by looking at the bullish headwind one will tighten the stop in the short position and make sure that the profit doesn't erode similarly we see that at this point on 9th December no, sorry 12th September 12th September the bullish headwind green is bullish again caught the bottom of Apple daily chart very successfully it doesn't happen only on daily chart if we look at Apple weekly chart longer term we can see that the headwind signal at this point that is 12th February 2016 it could catch the very bottom of that down move and the bearish headwind that came on 21st October several months later could also catch the top of the recent up move so by looking at the bearish headwind in weekly chart at this time one could look for potential short opportunities using the daily chart as swing trader that is how the headwind signal can be used to try to catch the bottom or top of a move with very minimal stop loss or risk lastly let us look at some of the trend following indicators we have already looked at some of the direction lines those are the line indicators I mentioned where we just need to see whether the lines are going up or down to know whether the stock is bullish or bearish and also looked at the movement indicator which is in the middle panel has three components if they all are green then it is bullish and if I switch to a daily chart that is used for a swing trader if we look to the right of this vertical line 
we can see on this day that is 7 December 2016 this is Apple again we have a day where all the movement indicators turned green for the first time after several days of being red the top two turned green one day earlier but all of them turned green on this day and the candle flow color that is used for go with flow trend following trade entry turned cyan bullish this signals an entry day so our traders might take a go with flow long trade on this day which stopped just below the recent low and target at upper boundary exit partial profit one two three in four trading days and probably hold on to the rest of the trade with trailing stop as the bearish headwind signal has come on 18th Jan one will tighten the stop probably move the stop just below this ascending memory line if this memory line is broken then probably it will be a good idea to book some more profit if one is holding on to Apple to let profit run so go with flow trades on these cyan days are identified easily using the go with flow long explorer and we can use the chart to assess the reward risk ratio and quickly enter the trade much before others have identified it now all these indicators and the trade setups that I explained help us take swing trade in different market conditions what are the market conditions we have identified one is a trending market where the stock makes successive higher high and higher low in that case we wait for the stock to come down and give us a go with flow long signal with a cyan flow candle just like in the AAPL case Apple case we saw just now that is a trend following market situation and the setup that we use is called go with flow like in the Apple example the other case is when market has gone up and at the top of the market up move it displays a bearish headwind using this diamond shaped bearish headwind along with few other checklist items we can take a trend reversal trade which we give the same name headwind so this is the second market situations and the trade setups that we have defined for the trend reversing market the third market situation we have identified is a sideways market where the highs and the lows are approximately at the same level and in that case we either use bear release or bull release to enter the top or the bottom of the swing with small stop and potentially large profit so this is the trade where we use bear release bull release along with watermark levels support resistance or may use also memory support resistance levels and sometimes as we have seen while the bull bear release appears they are also accompanied by headwind signal making us more confident in taking the trade in that direction the last market setup that we have identified is an exhausting market where a stock drops suddenly hits a pre-existing memory line and starts to go up like a bouncing ball coming down and going up we call it a bounce trade setup so we have four market conditions trending reversing sideways and exhausting and we have exactly four and only four chart setups for them go with flow for trend following headwind for reversing box for sideways and bounce for exhausting market
For each of them, we have different trade setups, but there are some common factors in all of these trade setups and market conditions. The first common factor is all of them are low risk trades. And as you saw in all the trade examples posted in traders community by either me or other traders from inside or outside superior profit traders community, all of them try to capture the swing point low or high, thereby adhering to buy low, sell high adage or short high cover low in case of a bearish trade. The second common factor in all of these trades is a high probability of success trade by aligning all relevant factors with the trade direction. What are these relevant factors? Sometimes they are only few, maybe two, sometimes they are maybe four, five. All are pre-known in the form of unambiguous checklist. And there are four different checklists for four different trade setups. Now let me go switch switch between the checklist for go with flow and a go with flow trade that we have already seen. Or maybe we will take a new trade for go with flow that was shared also in the traders community and the purpose of this is to find out how to apply the checklist in an unambiguous manner. We have already gone through the individual indicators, support resistance, reversal signals as well as trending signals all based on line going up down or just based on the color and now we are going to combine them in a checklist to see whether and how we identified the trade. So this was a trade on I think game GameStop GME it's a game gaming company it was shared by me on January 6th and this is how the chart looked like how I identified it I actually then go with flow short sonar or explorer on the list of stocks that I keep an eye on and I identified this as potential trade. I opened it with weekly chart backdrop template on the left, daily chart hop on template on the right. That is our default setup for identifying a swing trade using weekly and daily interval. And all I did is apply the checklist. So let me go through the checklist. This checklist is for trend following long. So for short trade, the rules will be reversed. So let me do that mentally while I go through the checklist. First checklist says there should be lower high and lower low in candle chart. And the candle shape is to be bearish. That is solid or upper tail. So I am in my mind reversing all the rules here instead of higher high, higher low, it will be lower high, lower low, and also the candle shape will be bearish, that is solid. So if I go to the post, on the daily chart, we can see for a swing trader, remember, we are looking for short term trade. So we are looking for the stock swings at is starting to topple over, giving lower high along the way. We can also see from the declining memory line that it is in downtrend. So the first checklist was met and it was indeed a solid candle which is a bearish shape candle. The next checklist says, it just says wait for price to come up and then till down. Flow candle color to turn bearish magenta. And that is what happened here. I waited for price to go up and then till down and the flow candle color turned magenta. Third checklist says see if the stock is going down just because market is going down or not. 
we would like the stock to go down on its own that is faster than the market so the relative performance line should tilt down this is the indicator that calculates whether it is outperforming or underperforming for a short trade we would like the stock to underperform the market and therefore we would like the relative performance which is this dotted copper line to tilt down which was true at the right edge of the chart again for swing trade we are looking for short term so we just need to check whether at the right edge of the chart when we are making the trading decision is it tilting down or not it is already in lower high lower low resisted by memory with a flow magenta color where stock tried to go up and came down with bearish flow and relative performance is down and then the checklist says see if the reward risk is acceptable in this trade our stop loss will be just above the memory resistance and for the specific level we will use the protection signal that uses volatility to calculate a safe stop. Our target will be at the lower boundary so we have respectable reward risk ratio. So that checklist is made. The initial checklists are on daily chart. The last checklist says that check in the weekly that there is a bearish trend that is the weekly only the candle backdrop color has to be bearish or magenta and indeed that was true when this trade was shared so though it took me some time to go through the checklist for the sake of the audience now in a real life situation be it by myself or our other traders who join the live class Traders tend to find this opportunity looking at the chart in less than a minute, often within 10 seconds. And based on that visual analysis, a short trade was initiated. And as you can again see, the checklist is unambiguous. There is no scope of somebody in America interpreting the signals in a particular way and another person sitting in Australia looking at the same chart and identifying it as a long or sideways move. It was a clear match of all the checklist items for a go with flow trend following short and our traders including myself took the trade confidently. Always making sure it's a low risk trade as was in this case. How it turned out soon after the short trade was initiated GME fell with a sharp drop it hit and went beyond our profit target lower boundary and at least partial profit was booked that is the discipline we all follow and maybe partial position could be held with a trailing stop making sure it's a risk free trade from now onwards now we have okay in this case in this particular case the trade uh, i took using vertical spread using option and as I mentioned earlier if we have liquid options all these trade setups can be used with option either simple put call or probably vertical spreads just as well as it could be traded using stocks. Now there are other unambiguous checklist just as in case of headwind trade we have very clear checklist for headwind box and bounce I will not have time to go through it however the trades that I shared from the community you can look back on them I think Metastock is going to record the session so it will be available you can go back to the trades in the community and compare it with the checklist the checklist is available in the book there is a book which is the name superior profit trade signals quick reference you can look up the checklist there or you can just go to the this page no just a minute if we go to site map swing so trading okay so here, here you can see the 
few important points on the swing trading superior profit way that I shared just now. What we mean by swing trading, the mindset, the different setups, and then importantly, the checklist, very unambiguous checklist based on multidimensional charts weekly and daily for go with flow, headwind for reversal, box for sideways, and bounce for accession trade. And you can compare the charts again and see how easily the checklist could be used, identify, execute, and also enter the trades based on predefined target. Now, you can see that many of our trades in the community do pretty well. It doesn't do well only because of technical analysis, but also because we have a very nice way of looking at broad market, sector, industry, and even fundamental analysis through color coding. So, I had touched upon some of these in the last class and we explored them more and more every week. We look at the broad market through the NASDAQ composite and the stock market internals like new high low advanced decline up down volume to have an assessment of the internal health of the market. And we look at sector and industry heat map and rank to see which sector of the 10 sectors are bullish, that is cyan or bearish or in the middle. And then in terms of industry groups, in 160 industry group classification, which one is stronger and which one is weaker across a time frame from five days from today to six months prior. And we can see aluminum companies have been strong, very strong for all the six month period. Whereas if I scroll down, we can see farming and fishing had been poor for all the six months. And if we look at banks, it was bullish for several period, but last five day, 10 day and one month, it is starting to turn, turn magenta. How we use this market and sector and industry information? We prefer to take a swing trade that is aligned with the overall market and the industry and sector for that stock. We also look at some fundamental information, again in a visual format, so let me take the example of say CMDG, the taxi transportation company in Singapore that several of us are keeping an eye on. It found support at the watermark low level. We analyze it using the Q charts, cmdg.si is the Comfort Delgo taxi operator. It hit the watermark low at a level where bullish headwind had come earlier that gave us a very profitable long trade. Now it has come back to the same level, gave a bull release signal. However, the candle is indecisive, so we may wait. We are keeping an eye using technical analysis on Q charts, but we are also able to keep an eye on it in terms of fundamental information like earnings, where we can see how the earnings, the green bars went up over a period of time, last three quarters, whereas the revenue went up and came down, and how different critical events caused the price to go up or down. So we look at the earnings, we can look at the earnings estimates as well, and compare Comfort Dale Group with an overall index. In this case, the FTSE Straits Times Singapore Index. All of this information that probably others do through number crunching, we are able to do using Q charts 
using the heat map on sector industry and the broad market information also using colorful charts and lastly using Metastock Zenith to even view the fundamental information visually. So we have a unique way of combining technical analysis with broad market sector industry and fundamental study that gives us a very huge edge over just Q technical or other technical traders and that's how we consistently get profit and trade profitably swing trades over and over again. We always keep a strong focus on learning so you can continue to learn from our blogs in the blog page or attend the live classes either conducted by Metastock or the weekly live classes that we schedule every weekend. If you do that very soon you will be starting to trade just like any other superior profit traders in all market conditions up, down or sideways. We are near the end of our time frame for today's webinar. So I will hand it over to Hunter and if there is any question you could ask me now or you could always email me at my email shared here or contact us through the contact page listed here. Thanks again for your time and over to you Hunter. All right, so can you, can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. Okay, wonderful. Just want to make sure my mic didn't cut out like last time. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for a wonderful presentation as always, uh, uh, you know, kind of delving a little bit more into the community that, that uh, you've created and, and the trading system. It's always uh, it's always a true pleasure, and, and um, you know, for you out there that that haven't seen this community yet, I mean, go to the website and check it out. It's it's actually it's actually very impressive. It's it's unique across the board in the fact that, you know, we we don't, uh, you know, we, we, when it comes to actual uh, trading examples, this is one of the the uh, only places out there that's going to provide you a community of traders that uh, uh, you can interact with on a regular basis and, and you know posting trades uh, you know consistently every single day and, and uh, you know with the blog etc so there there's a lot um, you know that you can learn just by going to the site that site again and it's a lot of free training as well uh, you know you can actually go to www.superiorprofit.co I mean, there's tons of videos, there's tutorials, there's ebooks, uh, videos that, you know, webinars that we've done with Cigar. I mean, there's just a ton of stuff there. Uh, you do get access to the Superior Profit community for free. Um, there's just not many places you can go out there that will provide you this type of extent of education uh, at no cost. Now, like I said, this is a, uh, this is the second webinar in a three part series, and the third part, uh, we'll be coming next week, uh, Thursday, a little bit earlier. We're going to be doing it a couple hours earlier because it's going to be a little bit longer. It's what we consider more of an advanced session, and this will be for individuals who actually have the Superior Profit add-on. So for those of you that don't, what we wanted to do is give you the opportunity to have access to uh, the Q Global uh, add-on by Superior Profit and Cigar. And we wanted to be able to give you a, a two-hour uh, bonus session, essentially, and give you some real advanced training with this um, before making the decision to stick with this uh, add-on long-term and integrating it one way or another into your current trading system. So what we've done is we've actually uh, put together kind of a um, promotion for individuals that have attended this webinar the, or the one previous to this to where uh, you can actually have access to the add-on uh, for three months for the cost of $99. So normally this add-on is $99 per month. What we're going to do is if you pay for the first month you'll get two additional months for free. Obviously you're going to have access to all of the Superior Profit Community stuff. Uh, as well as the advanced session that we're doing next week that's actually going to be walking you through this as well as some of the Metastock Zenith um, 
parts that, that Cigar integrates into his trays, and he touched on that briefly a couple of times here. Now, the link that I show you here uh, is actually, I don't believe it's up right now, but it should be up first thing tomorrow. Uh, go ahead and check back. If not, just uh, let Cigar know or, or myself contact us. We'll give you this. But you should be able to actually visit this link tomorrow and just sign up for this three-for-one trial. Uh, a couple of questions here. No, you do not have to have Zenith to have access to uh, Q Global. You can actually use it with uh, Metastock End of Day or Metastock DC. Um, the checklist that Cigar was going over, that's actually available on his website. So if you just visit that. Um, one of the things that I actually will do is we have recorded this session as well as the one before. I will shoot everyone out. Uh, an email with the links to both webinars as well as the link to sign up with this three-for-one trial and as long as uh, you sign up with the trial or if you, you're a current owner of, of uh, uh, Q Global or if you like I said sign up with the trial uh, before Wednesday of, of next week we'll make sure that you get on that advanced session for free as well so again any questions definitely let us know um, Please feel free to contact us, metastock.com forward slash sales chat. Obviously, you can contact Cigar. He's very, very helpful and, and loves working with individuals. Uh, please let us know, like I said, if you have any questions, and we will hopefully catch you guys here next week right around the same time. I'll get you email details out to that uh, as soon as I can. In the interim, I hope everyone enjoyed this. What was that? Hunter Sagar here, one, one point. The next class will be interactive. It is to sharpen the skill on Q trading. So I suggest all the attendees for the next webinar to go through these recorded videos of last webinar and today's webinar. And also go through the homework, that is to go through the books, videos, etc. Because we'll have a lot of quizzes in the next session. It will be interactive. And the more you participate, you will sharpen your skill more. It will be largely based on quizzes. We look at charts, ask what you think, and share the outcome as it played out in the past. Please do the homework, and it will be a pleasure to work with you in the next webinar. Yeah, and that, that, that's a wonderful point. Uh, you know, the next webinar will be interactive, so it'll give you a wonderful opportunity to uh, have a little bit of a hands on approach here. So. Uh, definitely thank you guys for attending this webinar this evening. Thank you, Cigar, for presenting. It's always a, a, a pleasure working with you. Um, and until next time, uh, happy trading. Thank you all. Take care. Bye.